Welcome back to a little game you've never heard about. We've totally never played on the channel. Totally accurate battle simulator. And it dawned on me, as we're waiting for the legacy update, I'd be a little bit remiss if we let this absolute tragedy unfold. No, I don't think the legacy update is a tragedy. In fact, I'm very much excited for it. It's probably one of the coolest factions I think we've seen since uh, the Wild West. And if you look at this, we haven't even beat it. And that's probably because the Wild West campaign is the hardest one I think I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, what? This guy can probably see the end of the universe with how crazy his eyes are. They're like Hubble telescopes. But even their faces look weird. What? Is this another one of those like modded troll things that happens? Hopefully not. So what we have to do then is use the Wild West faction as well as a few of those that pop up in the secret, which is bank robbers, the Gatling gun, and we have to beat this army. So I feel like the best thing to do is to use the firepower of my Western faction. Why are you shooting your own men? This guy got shot right in the tuchus by this lass back here. I mean, what are you doing? We need our soldiers alive live because look at this we need you snipers to take out these soldiers before their army or rather i guess it's more like an air force of uh prickly crows attacks us i mean do you see the issue with this battle it's the crows dude it's the freaking crows i guess the best thing to defend against crows is uh cactus armor this is what we're gonna go for and hopefully these gunslingers oh my god i try to take command of one i don't know what it is when i try to take command of these guys they always just die right it's like I i'm bad luck or something look, look, look at these little savages back here dude they they're just this is one of those units that like you think is pretty good and it's like the boss unit for a faction and then they just naturally wreck an entire faction what is the natural counter to the scarecrow i guess one of the units that we haven't used is the bank robbers those are those guys that are like secret kind of a you know one of the secret units which by the way i feel like i may have found another secret area on the map which we showed off a little bit in the last one, oh my god. It, we actually have a chance if these guys can start shooting the crow people who, unfortunately... Oh god, we were so close. We were so close! Insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results, right? Well, in tabs, it's a little bit different, I think. So, I'm gonna try to refight that battle and see if... Oh my god, we're actually doing worse, so <laughs> there's that. Probably because these guys are over here doing nothing. Attempt number three. It all depends on if the horses do their job, which, I don't know, they, they kind of did. All right, you, I need you to shoot that guy. Yeah! All right, this is working. All right! We're gonna win, because I had to take command of the gunslinger, who's like, you know, the top dog for the Western faction. <laughs> Look at that! But this is the perfect time to take a moment and talk about potentially another secret area, because it was this map that the first started to rise, and that is what is behind this door. At one point, it didn't have a glowing landfall symbol, and now it does, in fact, and people were wondering what's in the door. Well, let's beat this mission. We'll pretend like these are the bad guy Germans and we're Indiana Jones and we have to go on our little temple runs. And I'm hoping that just a few units here, two melee units and some gunslingers here just dropping down the pain is gonna be enough. Come on, keep shooting. They've got medieval weaponry and we have the power of pistols. So here's the situation, right? We got a few more left. We have to beat every faction with the Wild West faction to show their supremacy, at least before the Legacy faction arises. But let's take a moment. Remember, Fast Fire was also the map where a lot of weird things started happening for me. But there's this interesting little mine shaft down here, and the question arises, what is in this mine shaft? We're gonna try, I'm gonna try to get some explosives and blow it up because remember that this bit right here is where you find the bank robber secret unit all right cavalry is one of the classic ways on you know ancient battlefield tactics to disrupt and destroy ranged units oh god so naturally i just picked a bunch of ranged units and they're getting bull rushed by these horses however they're getting some shots and Here's the cool thing about this guy. He's got the ability to like dodge incoming shots. So when they fire arrows, <laughs> you guys suck, man. That's what's up. 
You got a bow and arrow, and we can dodge arrows. I've got to say that quick draw is one of my favorite units. So here we go. Do we try this, what I believe is a worth, absolutely worthless unit? Yes, we do. And we're out of money because they're 850 bucks. Tell me why they're $850. Okay. So tightly packed streets. I guess we could have lured them into one, but I want to see if they really are good disruption units. Oh God, they got hit before they fired their safes. The safes explode. They actually destroyed a decent amount. It's almost like a grenade going off. Now, where oh where is my gunslinger at? Where oh where can he be? Because I hope you're going to take out... Oh, <laughs> oh man, I, I was like, I hope you take out the Minotaur. This isn't looking good for us. I guess one of the things we could try to do is lure all of these Spartan soldiers down a narrow corridor. And at the end, oh, I don't know. How about a Gatling gun and a few snipers? And we put this little miner up here, so hopefully he lures in the Minotaur. Maybe he disrupts the formation. Maybe he even takes out any units. Did he? He didn't kill any of his own. But he did get hit with quite a few bits of lead here. <laughs> All right, Gatling gun, do your thing. So this is what it looks like. The ancient battle of Greece, you know, when the Wild West faction invaded <laughs> and fought Romans and Greeks because reasons. That's definitely a Roman shield. My God, this strategy was even better than I thought. Okay, maybe this campaign is getting a little bit easier than we thought. Or maybe we're just finally using the proper tactics. Okay, these guys are all lined up. Is that a Deadeye situation? Let's just see what happens. Can Deadeye fire through all these guys now? This guy's gonna be a little bit difficult to hit in the head, but uh, oh God, those are snakes. <laughs> All right, I really, really want you to fire and I wanna see if we can't get a collateral on these guys. <laughs> oh, it got a few, but now the snakes are gonna totally mess up everything. So how do we deal with snakes? <laughs> they can't bite cactuses. I mean, they can, but I, I don't think they're gonna be too effective at it. All right, so the cactuses, are disrupting the enemies. They're actually winning quite a few of the battles. However, Zeus is back there still. I think what we need to do is augment our strategy here. All right, we added a little bit of firepower, dynamite, gunslingers. Oh God, I forgot about the snakes. I, I for some reason, I, I thought, <laughs> look at that. He was trying to target him. Okay. Oh God. Yes. Yeah, see, it's, it's not doing too well. Fire at Zeus. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at the snakes in the air with their little, like, googly eyes, like, We're gonna eat you and kill your dreams of victory. Wait a second. Disruption units, right? Throw the safes in the air. Destroy the first couple of soldiers. I think they're very expensive, and my Gatling gun is getting snaked right now. So it's proving to be a little bit difficult and not very effective at mowing down the enemy soldiers. But he did manage to hit Zeus. So if that cactus guy can stay alive and this guy can kill Zeus... Oh, come on. Stop that, you sneaky snakes! Alright, if it's to be, it's up to me. Charge! And I'm dead. Okay, cool. Back to the drawing board. We could try for some cavalry flanking and maybe throw some dynamite. And we know that there's gonna be snakes coming in, so if we can distract them with a front line of cactus... Then maybe, just maybe, our snipers in the back are gonna be able to do a decent amount of damage to good old Zeus over there. Uh, is it working? Uh, that's a lot of Greek soldiers still alive and there's still snakes. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fire tons of bullets in the air and watch them rain down on the Greeks in slow motion here. Dynamite, what the heck? All right, maybe maybe a little bit of a different strategy this time. How is Zeus dancing around bullets? What are you, a god? Okay, just kill Zeus. It's in, it's in, it's in, it's insane. Oh, this is bad. Why can't I use my gun? Maybe because there's snakes eating me. Oh, I gotta mow them all down, but Zeus is still alive. There's a very small chance we pull out a W here. It's impossible. Yes, I think I shot Zeus in the heart. Don't get up, Zeus. Now I just gotta take these guys out. Oh my God, we actually have a chance. So it seems like the best way to have a chance at this level is to take command. Oh man, did I do that? Or was it the raining bullets? 
because these snakes are very, very difficult. And now we have to fight the Vikings. You, you, you thought snakes were bad? What about giant bear men who clearly, judging by these bones, have killed a giant snake of some kind at some point? Well, I didn't see any of the junking, uh, the jumping varieties. They do have archers. I guess I didn't really count for that because I, I picked all range units and we're already getting frozen here. Okay, guys, don't, don't slow down the shooting. I know you're cold, but you gotta keep fighting. Oh no, that's not good. Wouldn't it be cool if you could just have like a, a, a cheap pistol guy, someone who fired a gun normally? We need to mod that. Which begs the question, what mod should we be working on next? Maybe cactuses are pretty good at stopping incoming freezing projectiles. We haven't really tried that. How good cactuses are against them. The shouters are extremely effective just just keep holding the line and being distraction for the gatling gun the gatling gun must survive what are you what are you shooting at there's nobody alive over there how is that guy still alive jeez how many bullets does it take it doesn't look very good but even though he's slowing down the fire rate is still going that's the one unit that i don't think has been very much affected by frost archers because so we actually pulled out a victory there oh my god this is an absolute blizzard are we in a space station like halo rings there's an absolute blizzard going on right here this is not normally how this map looks right so they got flyers and ulra which is the secret axe throwing guy he's incredibly powerful we're gonna have to distract all of them so i i feel like horses are the only things that are gonna be able to do that very well and we'll do a, an army of miners and they call it a mine yeah look at that the, the snow kind of clears up when we come under the clouds right here now are my lasso guys still running we've only got one horse left oh god our army's absolutely getting wrecked right now. Anything expensive and stationary is not gonna do well, I don't think. Because they've got, they've got the Valkyries. Like, look at the, uh, Valkyries and Berserkers, which I'll just jump. It's just chaos. I don't think it's gonna work, but we'll try it. Oh God. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Seeing battles happen in slow motion. Oh, it's beautiful. Except when you're on the losing side, like I find myself once again. I'm going all cactuses for survivability in one Gatling gun. And by one Gatling gun, I mean, we're gonna put, uh, we're gonna put quick draw on here because he should be able to dodge. Oh God, all of those guys. Okay, all the berserkers did get distracted by the cactus. That's the goal here. And then all we need is a little bit of time for the Gatling gun to get up and running. And if he can fire and hit that Ulra in the back, which it doesn't look like he's gonna do it. No, this is gonna sound crazy. But I really think collectively, the Wild West faction is actually the worst. And we probably need to run a tournament to truly quantify that because it has been a while and there have been a few factions that have dropped since we did our last tabs tournament. It's crazy to put dynamite guys in because I feel like they can hurt you as much as help. And I'm really hoping for some RNG to help me out with some of these dynamite strikes because they have a very, very long delayed fuse. And it doesn't look like any of our guys survived that. Okay. You need to take out the Ura. Take out the Ura. Look at it. How many bullets are missing him? Ura, die, die. You are, oh, how has he survived so many bullets? All right, I'm gonna do my thing. Yes, I hit him. Oh God, the whole army is gonna be coming towards me in a moment. Okay, he's dead, but the problem is <laughs> the rest of the army is not. <laughs> All right. I don't know what to do, honestly. Well, I think it went even worse for us, shockingly enough. All miners, all the time. It's worked in the past. Look at that, it looks like everybody's just frozen right now. All right, so all miners clearly didn't work. What about all dynamite? So let's see, there's gonna just be so many explosions going on. Oh God, oh no, okay, watch this. This first salvo of dynamite probably will destroy most of my army. <laughs> it looks like we're getting carpet bombed by a B-52. Who's even left alive? Oh, I don't know. The Vikings. Okay, so that, that, that didn't work either. I'm just gonna try one unit. It's the one unit challenge. Cactuses only. All right, cactuses should be able to survive a little bit longer, right? But can they dish out the pain very well? I don't think so. Come on, cactus. Stop grabbing units. Stop trying to dance with them. Yeah, they're they're more of a distraction unit and not a killer, I don't think. Gunslingers? All right, that should be a lot of bullets, but the reload rate of these guys is killing our chances. All right, so this one's mostly cavalry now. This is not a balanced faction, is it? <laughs> But then again, my armies aren't very balanced right now. I mean, I'm, I'm literally doing all lassos, which are way too expensive. 
That is a unit that will do terribly in the tournament. All right, this is a little bit more of a balanced army. We, we have a wave of melee defenders and then range units behind them. But these bear guys are taking like many bullets and this dude is now break dancing? What? Oh God, you're about to get axed, son. Oh, oh that's gonna hurt. Yeah, I think the Wild West faction is my least favorite to play in a campaign because it's so hard. I guess we haven't done an all-in on the ball and chains guys, right? I don't think they're doing very good. You'd think that a ball and chain guy would like swing it around like a mace. Oh my god. Wait, they're actually winning? Oh no. Oh no, this is where I do I have to eat crow sandwich? No, they're they're getting they're getting frozen in place and getting hacked up. But they are a pretty good counter to Viking units. Maybe one ranged unit would be all it would take to help win this battle. We might have stumbled across a viable tactic. I think we use quick draw. We'll throw in a dynamite boy. Okay, quick draw. As long as you don't die and you shoot these guys, just don't die. Do your job, quick draw. Do your job and take out the Ulra. Take out the Ulra. Yes, I think we got him. And I just dodged an incoming projectile. <laughs> oh my God, take that campaign. Yeah, I know, I realize I'm shooting my teammate, but we'll hit them too. We've got the Dynasty faction to deal with, Renaissance, Pirates, the Spooky, and then there's some other m missions here. Well, we'll do this one, and oh god, they've got the Chuko News, the semi-automatic crossbows, and some Taekwondo people. Oh god, oh god. Let's see how a cactus charge works. They're probably pretty good at taking crossbow bolts. That's that's what I'm betting on right here. And then they just gotta beat up the Taekwondo people and hopefully not too many of us fall over that bridge. All right, don't get Taekwondo kicked. Oh, it's working. We're knocking the Taekwondo ladies into the water. <laughs> just don't get hit. I mean, you get hit, but just don't die. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think this is gonna work. Cactus versus Chuko Nu. Who would have thunk it? Cactus armor is superior to modern battle armor. So just keep swinging. Just keep swinging and beat him up. Uh-oh, we lost one. And there's three hit hiding out on that bridge up there. Look, they're dragging around the bodies of the enemies. Okay, there's only one guy left and there's three of them. I kinda am worried. Oh, but a lot of those crossbow bolts are missing. Oh, 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 hold the line. Oh, he almost got hit in the body right there. Keep smacking him. No, yes, yes. Yes, they can't hit him. He's too close. <laughs> He's using their friend as a meat shield. Slap the other one. Come on, man. Yes. No. Oh, he's reloading. He's reloading. <laughs> no. Oh, the bitter taste of defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Totally Hacked Battle Simulator. We're going to have a custom battle one episode coming up in the future. So if you guys want to see that, leave your suggestions of the battles in the comments below. I've got a funny mod coming out a little bit later this week as well. So once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.